We cannot overemphasize the importance of posture and efficiency in cycling. An aerodynamic posture, where the body is aligned in a way that reduces air resistance, is essential to lower the effort required by the rider. This, in turn, leads to improved speed and endurance, making it much easier to cover long distances with less fatigue. While it is true that an aero-shaped frame can help to reduce drag, it pales in comparison to the benefits of an aerodynamic posture. The human body accounts for up to 80% of the total drag experienced by a bike rider. This means that the posture of the rider is far more critical in reducing drag than the design of the bike frame. An aerodynamic posture can reduce drag by up to 50%, which is a substantial improvement in efficiency. By tucking in the elbows, lowering the head, and keeping the back straight, the rider can reduce their frontal area and present a narrower profile to the wind. This results in less air resistance and less effort required to maintain speed. If I had to choose between an aero-shaped frame and an aerodynamic posture, I would pick an aerodynamic posture every time. The performance value per dollar spent is far higher with improving rider posture. The correct posture can be achieved with minor adjustments to the bike setup, while aero frames can cost thousands of dollars. An aerodynamic posture is critical to improving cycling performance. Rather than obsessing over the design of the bike frame, cyclists should focus on optimizing their posture to reap the most significant efficiency gains. Remember, the human body is where significant improvements can be made in reducing drag and improving performance. The CDA, coefficient of drag area, is a measure of the resistance created by an object as it moves through air or water. In cycling, achieving a low CDA means minimizing the amount of drag that a rider experiences, resulting in greater speed and efficiency on the bike. While an aero bike frame can certainly help reduce drag and improve performance, the most significant factor in determining CDA is a cyclist's body position. In fact, studies have shown that at typical riding speeds, a cyclist's body accounts for up to 80% of total aerodynamic drag. By prioritizing a posture that allows for a very efficient CDA, cyclists can achieve superior aerodynamics without necessarily needing an expensive, specialized aero bike frame. This can save money while also making it more accessible for riders of all levels to improve their performance. But beyond the financial benefits, prioritizing a posture that promotes a low CDA also has significant long-term health benefits. By reducing the amount of wind resistance on the body, cyclists can reduce the amount of stress and strain that their muscles and joints experience during long-distance rides. This can help prevent chronic pain and injuries from developing over time. Achieving an efficient CDA through proper posture is a smart and sustainable way to improve performance and promote long-term health on the bike. While an aero bike frame can certainly help, focusing on optimizing body alignment and balance should always be the priority.
Bust now I click on pop Gush and keep it bustin' for my crew I got this shit, I rock This one's for the nice I ain't sleep a beat Work on week Push you leave a message when you hear the beat Click on pop